Welcome to Recipe World. Today we are going to see a very interesting recipe, Punukulu. This is a typical Andhra recipe and this is one of the variety of making the Punukulu. It is done in different ways. But today we are going to see Punukulu made with <laughs> dosa batter and cracked wheat or Godum Nuka or Dalia. Cracker Bick is also called as Godam Anuka or Dalia. It's very yummy and crunchy. I love adding this Cracker Bick because it may gives a very crunchy and yummy texture and touch to these Punukulu. This is usually taken as an evening snack in most of the offices in Hyderabad. Evening time when someone has to give a small party this punukulu and mirchi bhaji is usually ordered as a part of the party. The ingredients required for making this punukulu are cracked wheat or dalia or goduma nuka, one cup, dosa batter which is fermented. 2 cups green chilies 4 adjust as per your taste if you want more you can add more or you can add less as per your taste onion medium sized 1 ginger piece 1 inch by 1 inch piece salt as per your taste oil for deep fry. Let us see the preparation for this punukulu. Chop the onion into small pieces. Chop ginger and green chilies into small pieces. Take a deep bowl which is good for mixing. Add the dalia or godamanuka or cracked wheat into the bowl. Now add the dosa batter into the bowl. Add chopped onion pieces into the bowl. Mix well. Add chopped ginger and green chilli pieces to the bowl. Mix well. Heat oil in a skillet or deep fan for deep frying. Now take little by little punukulu batter and gently drop into the hot oil. When the punukulu are fried on one side, gently flip the punukulu to the other side one by one one by one when two punukulu are uh, fried on one side gently flip them over to the other side when the next punukulu are fried gently flip them over to the other side ensure that they are uniformly fried on all sides make the flame little medium if you fry it in deep in very high flame the inside of the punukulu will not be cooked. The batter will be raw inside and it will look cooked from outside. So fry it in a medium flame. When the punukulu are uniformly fried on all the sides, gently take the punukulu with the help of a spatula and transfer them onto a tissue paper. Let them cool for a little time and serve hot serve hot with chutney or uh, coconut chutney or pickle they are very very yummy it the perfect chutney for this punukulu is ginger chutney ginger pickle or ginger chutney which is very very yummy with this punukulu or peanut chutney is also very yummy with this punukulu yummy yummy punukulu are ready they are very very tasty crunchy and yummy as well for more interesting recipes and detailed step-by-step -step description along with photos, 
प्लीज विजिट माय ब्लॉग www.shriyafood.blogspot.com प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू लीव योर वैल्यूबल कमेंट्स थैंक यू